And the same if you want to involve with errors in your relationship, because we'll be talking about it in this workshop as well. It is also adore your masculine. That's a big one. Adore, you, adore your man, you know, and, and yeah. masculine, you know. And I was thinking that perhaps the reason what I always get nice attention from the masculine is because I love masculine. So this is a normal, I don't have to say I love men. I'm never cheap, right? Like, yeah. I never have to say it. It's just how I converse with, you know, men, how I treat them with respect. They know I like them. And I appreciate the masculine in different forms. And if I don't, I let them know, okay? I have it's no very trendy right now to really slam the masculine. You know what yeah. I mean? Everybody's talking yeah. toxic masculinity That's wrong. everywhere. That's wrong. That's completely wrong. There's one type of masculine, you know, that has to be, you know, which is like uh, the abusive masculine, right? That there's no place for it. But I mean, men are in a very difficult position nowadays because they feel like they have to give up their masculinity to be in a relationship with a woman. I don't want to personally be with a man who had to give up his masculinity, you know, because it's, it's something is very serious loss. Why? Yeah. So then, yeah. yeah. So you are very right. So adore your masculine. So I always, in, in esoteric Hinduism, which is a form, you know, and, which, and part of this is a form of uh, classical tantra. You know, there is called what is called Shiva energy, which is the masculine energy. And I always was very attracted to Shiva energy. And it doesn't have to be sexual necessarily. It is, you know, just just adoring. You know, sometimes I, I love how my man walks, for example. I know how he speaks. You know, he's a New Yorker and he has this kind of slight New York kind of way of speaking. I forgot how you call it, kind of like a almost like wisp or something, you know, that I notice New Yorkers do. I think it is so sexy, you know, and 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 uh, there are different forms like of masculine, and maybe one we could do a course, even a workshop on this, you know, forms of masculine, you know, that are beautiful, that are sexy, that are protective of the feminine. That are, you know, and I realize, and again, what do you, who you are and what do you want? Because women say, oh, you know, um, I want, you know, with him to go to my yoga class and do, you know, my mantras. And so we meditate together and then I want him to ravish me all the time. Well, <clears throat> and I want him to make lots of money too. So when I want to have a baby, I can have like a regular middle class. Oh, God, who can carry this? Do you understand? Like no man can possibly fulfill all of his expectations. Yeah. Provide a yoga meditator, you know, sex god. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So de-delude yourself. You know what I mean? Be honest, you know, with yourself, you know? So I say, because actually the first rule of spirituality is take responsibility 